When I first read the script, um, J.C. Calciano, the director and writer, also wrote a fantastic movie that won a bunch of awards before, um, the year before, uh, gave me the script. I, I liked it. I thought, this is, this is really cute. And, uh, and who, who doesn't want to be a part of a cute ensemble piece, you know? Um, I, think, I think in this town, uh, there's a misconception about uh, romantic comedies and um, that they have to be cheesy and crass and to get their point across. And that's what I liked about the, the script, JC script, was uh, it, it didn't have that. It didn't have this, like, you know, let me show you just gratuitous sex and nudity and let the, 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 her the hero go off and act like a debaucherous fool and then, you know, expect his partner to welcome him back together. There wasn't any of that. There was like a, here's a real moment um, that everybody experiences. And, and uh, you know, I, two people sort of struggling in a relationship and one person sort of deviates, the other goes, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna follow suit and I'm gonna ex explore my own avenue. But in that avenue, there wasn't any sort of, um, there wasn't any sort of offensive, unrealistic circumstances that, that you would go as, as an actor or as a real life adult who's been in relationships to go, well, these people are not gonna get back together because this person clearly was just an a-hole for the past you know, two months or whatever it is. Because a lot of times you act like an asshole. You're gonna be treated like an asshole, and the script didn't didn't have any of that. There was uh, just two people who, uh, who I think really wanted to fight for their cause, and, and I liked it. And it was funny. It made me laugh. You know, if something makes me laugh, then generally it's uh, it's it's on my cue in terms of of my need or want to to perform. So uh, the character I play in E Cupid is his name is Richard. And he is the uh, he's the gentleman caller, the first gentleman caller uh, to Gabe, who's played by the wonderful Noah Sheffman, who I actually went to school with in college at University of Missouri. Um, so I I um, I've had my eyes set on on Gabe for a while. He's put up this coffee shop on the corner by my house, and uh, you know I've been watching him from afar and. and the time was right, walked into his joint and, and proceeded to uh, schmooze him uh, very smoothly, very smoothly. I don't, I don't say anything cheesy at all. I'm a, I'm a smooth operator, you know. And uh, so, yeah, I, I'm the first date, actually, that, that Gabe has post his, his breakup with, with Marshall, um, which, you know, it's great to be that, that guy who's, you know, the first time. I don't care if I'm, I'm, you know, second fiddle, sloppy seconds. Who cares about that, right? You know, I'm there for a purpose. Um, and you have to find out to see if I reach my objective. I'm not going to divulge that. But uh, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun uh, hitting on, on Gabriel, um, being that I've known Noah for, gosh, 11 years now, 12 years probably. So to see the transformation of, you know, young little boys and then to come out here together is, you know, to pursue our, our craft and our, and our goals and, and dreams and then actually finally work together after nine years, you know, of living out here. But uh, 12 years of knowing each other is, uh, it was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Richard's just a good old boy. He's just, he's just like me. He's just a little bit more clean shaven. <laughs>